On this edition of Kababayan Today, Asian American Studies professor Enrique de la Cruz shares his accidental journey in higher academics. That's all next on Kababayan Today. Po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji at nanunood po kayo ng Kababayan Today. Gusto ko pong i-share sa inyong lahat na ang edukasyon ay napaka-importante po dahil dahil po sa education, ako po ay nakakamit ng aking mga pangarap. At hindi lang po ako, napakarami pong tao ang uh, natupad ng mga pangarap nila dahil sa edukasyon. Kaya naman, uh, ang guest natin ngayong araw na ito ay mula sa University of the Philippines at nagtapos rin siya ng kanyang PhD sa UCLA ng Philosophy at Mathemat Mathematical Logic Professor po siya, Professor Emeritus of Asian American Studies. Researcher rin po siya ng mga issue tungkol sa pagiging healthy para sa ating Phil and community. Kasama po natin siya ngayong araw na ito. Let's welcome here on Kababayan Today, Professor Enrique de la Cruz. Hello po! Hi, hello. Professor, thank you for joining us today. Ma maupo po kayo. Maraming salamat sa pagpunta nyo dito sa Kababayan Today. Ang sabi ko nga, eh, uh, nakamit ko ang aking mga pangarap, lalong-lalo na dito sa Amerika dahil uh -huh. nakapagtapos ako sa UCLA. And uh, ngayong buwan ng Setyembre, uh, gusto ko pong bigyan ng halaga ang edukasyon at kaya ko po kayo inimbita dito dahil napaka-inspiring po ng inyong storya. Oh, so <laughs> so pag-usapan po natin... Uh, Tito Enrique, kung pwedeng Tito Enrique ang tawag ko, ano? Okay lang. Uh, ah. Saan po kayo lumaki sa Pilipinas? Lumaki ako sa may Baguio, una. And then, lumipat ang tatay ko sa Mindanao. So, doon ako lumaki, sa Cotabato. Sa Cotabato. Oh, At yung nanay niyo po, taga saan? Taga Pangasinan. Silang pareho. Ah, silang pareho, oh, taga Pangasinan. Pasinan. Tapos Dahil lumipat kayo sa Baguio. Tapos, oh, sa Cotabato. Actually, kasi ang tatay ko, ah, uh, <coughs> He's a war veteran, survivor actually in that march. So, really? Your father? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> he has passed away now, but you know uh, He was part of the de death march. Yeah, he was a survivor of the death march because he was part of the, you know, the Philippine Armed Forces or the Yusafi, na tinatawag natin. Veterano siya ng Second World War. Wow, this is a na, who survived this the the death march. Okay, and I'm sure growing up you heard all about the stories of oh, of, yeah. of, of please share that with us. This is very interesting. Well, he was okay. He was uh, he was he's, he was a lawyer, but he got commissioned into the army, and <clears throat> they were fighting. You yes, know, in of course. In Bataan, uh oh, and then when they surrendered. The, huli siya. Well, pahuli sila lahat. I mean, nag-surrender kasi sila. They were given orders to surrender. And then, yun, minarcha sila. Sa, kalimutan ko na yung kabasa, yung papuntang... Oo, oh, yung bataan. Oh, mahaba, oh, mahaba yun, ano? Yun, oh, oh, di bataan oh. that march. Mahaba yes, yun. Yes. No? Uh, oh, he survived that. Okay. How and, do you think that shaped him as a father? That, that's, that's an interesting experience, but he, other than the fact that he would only mention. So he never went the, into detail uh, about detail his experience. Of the, oh, oh, the hardship. Of the horrible, oh, yes, horrible yes. hardship that right. he experienced. Right. He said that he survived it because he volunteered as a cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ang Pilipino talaga, eh, kahit oh. sa anong sitwasyon, makakahanap oh, ng com makahanap comedy, na, ano. ano. Oh. So, sabi niya, kaya ako nabuhay, samantala yung mga bangkasama ko, kulang kinakain dahil nag-volunteer akong magluto. Ayun. <laughs> so, oh, so, syempre, kung siya yung magluluto, oh, titikman-tikman niya, di ba? Oo, oh, ganun, ganun na nga. <laughs> oh. So, that's how he, sabi niya, yun, that's how he survived. Wow, that's But then, interesting. But uh, that march mismo, talagang lahat sila naghirap doon. He considers himself very lucky to have survived that, that particular episode. <laughs> no, kasi, well, well, this is part of our history, isn't it? Of yes, who we are as Filipinos. Right. Okay, that's so right. at what age did you decide that you wanted to come to America? Well, it, uh, in college, 
So, na, na, nakapunta kayo sa University of the Philippines? Yeah, sa, 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 sa na, nasa UP na ako. Diliman ba? Oo, oh, sa Diliman. Okay. Eh, so, mula sa Cotobato, nakapunta yeah, ka ng... <clears throat> from Cotobato, high school and everything there, no? They, nung mag-aaral na ako, <clears throat> sa, de, sa, sa, sa UP. Diliman ka? Oo, oh, kasi yung tatay ko, UP graduate, kaya gusto din niya, UP din daw ako. Oo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> eh, alam naman natin, ang oh. University of the Philippines is of course one of the best universities in the Philippines, no? That, that's right, that's yes. right. That's so what right. did you take for your undergrad at UP? I was, I was a philosophy major. I was attracted to the order and simplicity of logic and being able to make arguments and you know, ganun, so. Okay, so I'm sure nakuha mo yung pagka-lawyer rin ng tatay nyo. Well, hindi, hindi, hindi naman sa ganun. Actually, dahil ang tatay ko was an old, is an old country lawyer, no? Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> he wanted me to become a lawyer too. Kaya lang, mahirap ang buhay ng country lawyer. Oo. Kasi binambayad sa'yo, kalabaw, kambing, manok. <laughs> tama, you know? tama, no, tama. oo. No, mahirap na. Yung bayad siya, mahirap siya. Oo. And then he wanted me to be a lawyer too. Oh no, sabi ko, yung paghihirap mong yan, ako gagamit. <laughs> yan din ang paghihirap ko, no way. <laughs> okay, eh, so paano naman ang, ang, ang philosophy? How, how has that helped you? Eh, I mean, how was that a better career path uh -huh. than being a lawyer. Okay, pag-uusapan natin yan. Ha? Marami pa tayong panahon. Pagbalik natin, napaka-interesting talaga na pag-uusap namin. Kasama natin si Professor Enrique De La Cruz. Huwag po kayong aalis.